Hi y'all, this is Vlogmas Day 12. Hope y'all are having a wonderful evening. Um, right now where I am recording at, it is nighttime, so yeah, and I'm baking. And I hope y'all like this video. Give this video a thumbs up for baking if you love baking and you love recipes. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what um, Christmas type of cookies you like, what type of cookies you like. Subscribe to Hunter Up Y'all and thank y'all for watching Vlogmas. They continue to watch. And on Christmas, I'm going to try to do a Christmas Eve vlog and then a Christmas vlog. And see this cupcake right here? My sister made these. And it's cream cheese on the top, chocolate cupcake, and they're so good. And I love cream cheese frosting, even though it's kind of fattening. Cream cheese is not that good for you. And then this. My sister, if you want a recipe on this cupcake, then you can comment below. My sister will do a video on it if, well, when I ask her. But comment below if you want a recipe on this, and I'm going to just, like, dig into it right now. Mmm. These are so good. I just had to take a minute. I need a cupcake that my sister made. <laughs> That's part of the video. So I'm going to do a little overall of what I did today. So today I did schoolwork. And obviously that's why we do. I'm a student. I'm in 10th grade. So yeah, I did um, schoolwork. And then after that, um, basically it was took the whole day. So I got on Facebook, looked at the other day. I'm watching YouTube videos, and it was time to eat, um, and had a wonderful meal, um, my mother made, and then my sister made these, and I ate some of these, I think I only ate one, it was so good, so I wanted to eat another one for, um, my dessert, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make, okay, they're called Cookie Jar Ginger Snaps, and I got this recipe from a magazine, yeah, and um, they're actually softer cookies. I know it says ginger snaps, but they are softer cookies after you make them. And I'm going to be telling you the recipe for these cookies. And the recipe for these cookies is what it says here. So I'm just going to leave this here for like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to count to ten and then you guys can write this down. Hopefully y'all have wrote that down by now, but I'm going to go over it if you didn't. So, first of all, you are going to need two-thirds cups of shortening, and shortening is oil. So, yeah, I ran out of oil because I love baking, so guess what? I'm going to be using coconut, um, just coconut in a jar, and it's the stuff that you use to bake with. And I'm sorry if you see all this stuff here. This is a desk right here, and these are books and stuff, so... Just don't mind that. And I try to push this glass back here on this side and leave this open because this glass behind me reflects. And I don't like reflecting glass. So, yeah, that's kind of off topic, but let me get back to my topic. So, two-third cups of shortening, which is oil. One-half cup of sugar. One large egg. Two cups of all-purpose flour. Yes, all-purpose flour. And as I can see right now, I left the flour over there. So I'm going to have to go get it. So, yeah. And then one-fourth cup of molasses. Two teaspoons of baking powder. One and one-half teaspoons of ground ginger. One teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Excuse me, I am kind of burping. <laughs> um, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I already said that. Okay. One half teaspoon of salt, and you don't have to put one half teaspoon if you don't want to. You could just do less than that. But yes, and I don't know if you heard me laughing. Excuse me if I, you heard me. So yeah, and the prep time is twenty minutes. Usually you preheat your oven ahead of time. We're doing this, but I'm not preheating because you know what? I just don't want to. So I'm not preheating, and bake time is twelve minutes. But I noticed with these cookies, my oven. I set it to my family's oven. My oven. Yeah, um, I set it to 350 and for 12 minutes, and they're still gooey. So at 12 minutes, when 
I check them. So I would do 15 minutes if you set your oven at 350. Do it for 15 minutes. If you set your oven higher than 350, like um, 375 or something, then you could try 12 minutes. Depends on your oven, so definitely figure that out. But 12 to 15 minutes. It makes about two dozen. I made about two dozen. The recipe said it makes three dozen. I guess it depends how big you make the balls of cookie dough. Um, when you do make the balls of cookie dough, don't just like take a ball and throw it on the um, pan. Make sure you put parchment paper. Obviously, you need parchment paper. And then make sure you flatten out the cookie um, into a flat surface because when the cookie like comes out, like it like expands the cookie will be small if you want a more rounder cookie definitely flat it out with a knife or flatten out with a spoon I would do a spoon because you know just a spoon safer than a knife obviously but if you do a knife make sure you use a better knife so yes so hopefully y'all like this recipe and now I'm going to get started into making it um, hopefully this video is not super duper long but I have been doing six minutes already. The reason why I went like this is because I have my glasses on. And, yeah, my glasses were far away vision, obviously. It's not that far away, but kind of is. So, yeah. If you want this recipe, let me know. Any kind of chocolate recipe muffin you want me to know, let me know. I really joke when I have food in my mouth. Because you kind of don't want to see all my feet in my mouth. <laughs> mm -hmm. That muffin was delicious. Your muffin was delicious, Sarah. She's watching the video. So. Now we got. Well, first of all, we're going to start off with this. And this is your certified 100% organic virgin coconut oil. It has coconut flavored, coconut flavor and scent. It's a superfood. Coconut's a superfood. So, yeah, that's the brand right there. Just a basic brand, obviously. Yeah. So, we need two third cups of it. So,. Originally, it was three-fourth cups, and I couldn't find a two-third cup measurement because I don't know why. It just wasn't in my reach where I was looking for it. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill this up, like, almost up to three-fourths, but it's going to be a little bit before it because it's two-thirds. So, yeah, I'd rather use, I would rather use oil than this stuff, coconut stuff, but this is healthy, so you can. But, you know what? The reason why it was like this because you ran out of oil. Because it's so much baking this week and just all the weeks in general. So this is pretty messy, this coconut oil. <laughs> but we're doing it, so. Okay, let's keep digging in here. So I can get plenty of coconut oil. So I think... I think this is pretty good. This is almost three fourth cups. Let me pat it down to make sure. This is almost three fourth cups. It's kind of at an angle. So I'm going to put this in and I'm going to like shake it out here. You know what? It's not even going to come out. So I'm just going to like dig my fingers in there and just like get it all out of here. My hands are like so greasy right now, but you know what? That's part of baking. So you know your hands are obviously going to get messy when you're baking. <laughs> You're going to get sugar and flour and everything all over them. It's also good to wear an apron, but I'm not wearing one right now. So, yeah, if you're wondering why I'm not wearing one, I'm just, I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah, there we go. We got, like, coconut oil, oil all over it. And I am going to, yeah, go get a napkin. And while I'm over there getting my napkin, I'm going to go grab the flour. So, when I come back, I'll have the flour. Okay, I'm going to go. Okay, I'm sorry about that. No worries. My foot ran into something. That's why it made that noise. If y'all wondering where the noise came from, that little pity noise. There's a paper bag there. 
on the ground, it has, like, cereal and, like, I don't know what's in here. I think some cans or something for projects. <sighs> yeah, there's some cans for projects and stuff in there, so. Craft projects, definitely use your old cans and your old, um, you know, little cereal boxes and cans and stuff. Because you can make, like, snowmans with these. So that's a great idea. And if you want me to do a snowman can project, let me know in the comments below. So, yeah, I know I'm just, like you know, talking about other stuff, but this is Vlogmas, so we can share our ideas, so while I'm doing this, I think gift ideas are great, um, I would definitely do for a gift idea is jewelry, I think jewelry is a great gift idea, I like heart necklaces, I like butterfly necklaces, I like, like, simple, elegant necklaces, not, like, the real thick ones, or, like, the real, like, beaded ones, is what I'm trying to tell you, the beaded, real beaded ones, I don't really like them type of necklaces. I like the necklaces just like a little heart. And then the bracelets, like these kind of bracelets. So yeah, I like them type of jewelry items. And then I think headbands are a great option for a Christmas gift, a, a stocking stuffer. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, those are just a couple type things that I just wanted, two things I wanted to show you. And flannel t-shirts also um, are great Christmas gifts, so I'm wearing this one right now, and I'm wearing some jeans, you can even give people a pair of jeans if you're friends with them, or relatives, or whatever, if you know their size, um, or a pair of boots if you know their shoe size, or whatever, so yeah, those are great gifts also, so basically, use your thinking, and get whatever you think would be great for your relatives, friends, or even people at your workplace, um, cards, and stuff like that. So it's great to give um, back to people. It's better to give than receive, and I have said this before, but it's so totally true. And yeah, so now one half cup of sugar. Um, there's the sugar. One half cup of this. I did the recipe calls for one cup like before, but it's really sweet with the molasses and everything. So definitely only put one half cup. And if you're using coconut, definitely only put one half cup of coconut sugar. And we're going on 12 minutes now, so I'm going to have to kind of speed up the hamburger. And I know this is probably going to be like 15, 20 minutes long. I'm sorry, but cooking videos happen to be a long time. So, don't want to use that one. Half a cup. Half a cup of sugar. And, there. Half a cup of sugar. And it looks like this, a half a cup. So yeah, this is coconut sugar. And then after that, you shall need, um, what is it next? One large egg. Just doing this accent tuner thing coming in the system. One large egg. And then, <laughs> yeah, one large egg. And I got the egg already out, and I'm going to crack it in the bowl. So do that ahead of time. Get all your ingredients out ahead of time, which... Before I never used to, but since I'm doing a video, I obviously am, and I should always. Well, this correct. You know what? It's not cracking. Had to hit it on the bowl because it wouldn't crack on the other surfaces. <laughs> so, I'm <laughs> getting the egg prepared, and where do I throw the egg at? I throw it over there. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Okay. Thank you, Mother, for trying to get me a bowl, and I just, like, threw it that way. Okay. So, you have the egg, and I'm just going to, like, it's not scrambled up. Like, the egg's in here, obviously. I don't need to, like, show it to y'all. So, yeah, the egg's in there now. Be careful with the raw egg every which way. It's nasty. Okay. Two cups of all-purpose flour. I am just using your basic organic. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> I'm bleached all-purpose flour. And do not know why I said ding ding ding. I was in the mood, so mm -hmm. yeah. Um, two cups of this, and flour is great because it helps rise and everything. So flour is a must. So here's your one cup of flour, and you need another cup of flour. It's two cups of it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm digging in a hole. <laughs> I'm digging in a bag of flour. So, yep, here's my two cups. <laughs> oh my goodness, I got flour everywhere, so. 
like right here on my recipes and stuff. So yeah, flour, sugar, everything's gonna get all over. Don't even worry. Um, now, um, one fourth cup of molasses. A nice silver cup. Boop, boop. Here we go. One fourth cup is sixty mLs, and this is the stainless. Ding ding ding. So I'm doing the ding 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 ding. Okay, so we got the Grandma's Gold Standard since 1890. Molasses, slurpled, I'm not sure how to say that word. <laughs> slurpled, original, see it right there, slurpled. Non-GMO, verified. You need that on every single product, chips, everything, because GMOs are not good for you. That is a standout. See that thing right there? That is the thing you need to look for. So this is your grandma's molasses. It's original. It's non-GMO. Awesome. And I know some countries don't have GMOs, so that's awesome. But you know what? America has GMOs. Seriously, America? Seriously? Like, I'm not being... I'm just saying. Seriously. Like, that's upsetting. To even know that is even like GMOs, and you see these signs that say ban GMOs, you know, like protest, ban GMOs. Everyone, come on! I don't eat aspartame gum, juicy food, big red. I'm not trying to like make fun of you know gum companies, but I'm just letting y'all know that certain gums are not healthy for you. So if you're into health, definitely get your gum from the health food store. But if you're not, get it anywhere. So. Yeah. And this one is basically one fourth. But you know what? Since I have all the sugar and stuff, I think it's basically good. So, you know what? I'm just not even going to worry about it. Because this is all going this one thing of Grandma Molasses. But you know what? Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Look at this. I get another one. So, I can make another, um, like, ginger snap cookies and stuff. And I'm just like, um,. Panning it all out into the bowl. <laughs> I'm like hitting it because the molasses doesn't want to come out properly, but molasses is all dripping. You know what molasses remind me of? Chocolate syrup. So we got the molasses, and now we're going to need. What are we going to need next? Two teaspoons of baking powder. I know this is getting super long, so I'm going to try to speed it up here if I can. I really can't do that like, real quick speed up since this camera doesn't do that, so I'm sorry. And all this stuff is raw footage. I don't, like, edit, like, how it looks and everything like that. Like, I, on the iPad, you can, like, cut out the end parts of it if, like, you didn't like the end part of what you recorded. But, I mean, like, I don't edit it on a special app or anything. So, this is, like, raw footage. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, if you're wondering if I edit like that, like, do, like, the lighting and stuff like that. I don't do anything with the lighting. So, if you're wondering. This is the natural lighting at nighttime, so hopefully it's good quality. <laughs> And I'm doing this in my dining room, so, yeah. One teaspoon of baking powder. We need two of these. And I'm going to tell you what type of baking powder we're using. Um, we're using this. The Argo, Argo baking powder. Um, it's aluminum free, which is great. Always look for that. And then after that, we are going to need one and one half teaspoons of ground ginger. So make sure these are properly, like, my voice got louder, but you know what? The TV's on in the other room, and I'm trying to talk. I don't want you guys to hear, like, you can highs can hear the TV, but, you know, you kind of want to hear the ingredients, so I'm talking louder. So, one teaspoon, and you know this ground ginger, you need this ground ginger, because this is, like, the, like, root of the recipe. It's ginger, the main ingredient, main spice. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I threw a little too much, so you know what? We're not going to put the half of it. I'm going to, like, try to dump some of that. I don't want to overdo my ginger. Okay. Okay, so there we are. Even though I threw a little extra in, so that's all it's going to be for right now. Because I don't want it, like, poured out the way this is because the spoon won't fit in. So it poured out. It wasn't too over too bored, so it, it's the right amount, but... It's one and one half teaspoon of ground ginger, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of this, and this will fit right in, so that's great. 
And this one is the McCormick Gourmet Organic Ground Ginger, non-GMO. It says it right there. Packaged in the U.S., um, which is great. Certified organic. And it says, do not use if seal under cap is broken. So always make sure this is seal before you open it. This had a seal, so that's great. And you always want to seal because just don't use it if it doesn't have a seal because it always should have a seal. So, yeah, and this is organic ground ginger. So it's much better organic one. And this is the McCormick, too. So that's like the main standard brand I think a lot of people use. And then this is one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. We got the ground. You need the ground. Um, and then you need one half teaspoon of salt. Now, I'm just using your basic, and you don't want to overdo it with this. Oh, my goodness. If you overdo it with salt, it would be horrible. So, um, made from a wrap, made from evaporated seawater. There we are. And if you're wondering what this is on my hand, it's molasses. Yeah, I'm all sticky right now. So, um, a half a teaspoon of salt. And this is your half a teaspoon right here. And I'm just going to... Not even put a half a teaspoon because I was worried about salt, like too much salt. So I would never go to the exact amount because, well, I might like once in a while, but I mean, usually I would try not to go to the exact amount. And I'm um, patting still molasses because molasses is like syrup, like you get it in and it's like still dripping every which way. It's much better half of it's all in. So now you got all the ingredients in. Now it looks like this. And you just stir this up, and it will become into a brown dough. And then you will put it on a round 15 by 16 inch pan. And then you put the partial paper on it. You will bake it for 12 to 15 minutes. And then um, for, oh, the oven should be 350 or 375. It depends on your oven. And 12 to 15 minutes. So I hope you all like this video. I'm going to mix this all up. Roll them out. And make sure you flatten them out with a spoon after you have the balls of dough on the partial paper. Flatten them out, put them in the oven, check them at 12 minutes. If they're not done, then leave them in another 5, 10 minutes. How, whenever they start to look a little crispy on the end, or you just have to be crispy, or when you think it looks good, take it out, take it out, and then that's it. So, it says 12 to 15 minutes originally. I said 12 minutes, but I did 15 minutes and it was great. So, I hope y'all like this video. Subscribe to Hannah Up, y'all. I know it was 22 minutes, but... Yeah, it was cooking, and you got to see me put all the ingredients in a bowl, so hope you enjoyed following along with me. And this is a Vlogmas, so hope you all like it, and I rambled a little bit in the front, so it would be sort of like a Vlogmas. But this is my Vlogmas today, a talking a little bit at the beginning, and then a beautiful recipe that I know you all will love and enjoy if you try this. So if you like ginger, and you like ginger snaps, or ginger cookies, or anything gingered, with cinnamon, you will like this. So, yeah. Thank y'all for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye, y'all.